Social media, most notably Facebook, has been criticised by employees turned whistleblowers for not doing enough to reduce pressure on young people through their platform. If you were in charge of Facebook for a day, what would you do? Good evening, everyone. Thank you for your question. I definitely believe we have a long way to go in making social media safe for everyone to use. Social media brings incredible opportunities and unifies us all entirely. However, if I was in charge of Facebook for a day, I will make it a lot harder and register users, simply because there are a small minority who throw hate and comments and don't realize the damage it does. Through registering and identifying these users, we make it harder for people to spread hate. Thank you. your question. It is being said that recent high-profile murders of women in our country has affected confidence in the police. What would you say our police forces need to do to regain trust? Thank you for your question. I believe transparency is one of the best ways that we can reignite trust in all services, especially the police force. Be transparent about how they are approaching and how they will be approving their services for the future and making sure that women feel safer and the whole community feels safer as a whole in order to make sure that this stops as soon as possible. Thank you. Contestant number three, please join us. In recent weeks, the British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has refused to make misogyny a hate crime. Do you think it should be regarded a hate crime or not, and why? Thank you so much, Emma. It's been an incredible time for hate crime and women in this field. It's a time where we need to take responsibility for the actions that you've taken online, offline, and it's something that we should take seriously. I want everyone here tonight to be able to inform themselves and to be able to take steps to educate, protect and defend women all over the world. And that's something that we can do today. Thank you. that all representatives attending this year's final must be fully vaccinated. Do you think that's the right decision or not, and why? I think with COVID, there's always going to be controversy around that. Everybody I have spoken to has had different opinions. Some people are for it, some people are against it. But the main thing is that we need a safe community. I know myself, there's plenty of people that have questioned the vaccine, but I think we need to just take pride and confidence in the fact that the government are doing all that they can with a bad situation. And I fully believe that it's the right thing to do to be vaccinated to keep us all safer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, final contestant, the final top five question. There has been a negative response from some fans to UK sports teams supporting the Black Lives Matter campaign, and in particular to the taking of the knee. What action do you think the decision makers in sport should take to stamp out such behaviour? Thank you for your question. I think nowadays we need to be so mindful and be really proactive in making sure that we are doing what's best for other people and making sure that we are not being harmful or abusive to others. I think that sports um, management and directors need to enforce stricter rules so that players do feel safe. They are representing their country and they need to be respected by fans. We as human beings deserve to be respected. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the bravery to answer 